Hi, this is Jonathan. How are you guys doing? Today we're going to feature this guitar from Fender. This is the Fender Player Plus Nashville Telecaster in H Candy Red. <laughs> Thank you. 
his channel might just subscribe to his channel and press the bell for notification of future videos to follow and be part of patrons to support his channel i would appreciate it i want to thank ben from sweetie for passing me his guitar for review uh this is relatively new this is the player plus series but this is made in mexico right uh good workmanship throughout all right so you have a very interesting uh Nashville Tally, so you might know Nashville Tally is famous among the studio musicians in Nashville because it's basically like a strat with two single calls or rather three sets of single calls. Sometimes they will have a stack, right, a bridge, whatever it is, you have the configuration and the ability to sound like a strat if you want to, you know, in between. But basically it's still a tally. I believe this is a gloss polyester finish on this H candy red. Outer body, a nice maple neck. All right, we just gonna stripe right here. You also have a power ferro fretboard, right, with a fret radius of twelve inch. You have a C shape. This is more like a modern C shape. It's really, yeah, really easy on the hands. You have a synthetic bone nut of a nut width of uh, forty two point something, forty two point eight millimeters. You also have the fender locking tuners. These are the deluxe locking tuners. Um, with a nice roller kind of string tree, you know, the ones that this, I prefer this one than the, you know, the normal butterfly ones. These are really nice, yeah. And the thrust rod adjustment is right over here, okay. You have uh jumbo frets, or these are nickel, quite polite uh, dot markers on the fretboard itself, is right aside. On the body, you have a three ply tortoise shell pickguard 
with a set of uh, Fender noiseless uh, single coil for Telecasters. So you have the neck, the middle, and the bridge. You also have a five-way pickup selector, one volume and one tone, which also functions as a push-pull. Now, this push-pull uh, activates the neck pickup together with the bridge, position one or two, right? So you have a mixture of the neck pickup on position one and two. So if you want that, put it up. If you don't want it, you just want a bridge or the in-between, the position two, just deactivate it. You also have a six individual saddle string through a bridge um, right here, string through from here. And this is not like your normal ashtray uh, bridge. So you can assess your volume uh, knob easily. By, you know, if you want to do volume swells through the volume knob, which I do. <laughs> so it's cool. This finish is really nice. I, I believe there are other finishes available. Uh, there's one like a sunburst uh, con, really nice sunburst uh, finish. And I, I, I'm liking the finish of this one. This is like really nice, really unique. Okay, how does it play? Um, the neck is easy. Okay, see so this is um, this is strong with zero nines. Okay, so it comes factory strong with zero nines, which is not my favorite gauge, uh, but. I manage. Um, I think this guitar will sound really good in zero tens. In any case, it's great neck, uh, easy, easy neck. You know, really modern kind of modern C rather than rather than just a C shaped neck. And the uh, jumbo frets does its work. You know, it's nice fretboard, power ferro, easy. The sound. Now these are Defender noiseless pickups. Now there are many who complain about um, them not sounding the vintage kind of single call sound that they expect from a Telecaster or from any Fender guitars. I find them to be sufficient. Uh, a bit thin, just a little bit thin, but then again, like I said, you can always compensate it uh, through EQ and your amp or whatever you're using. So I find them to be really useful because I have my lights on, you know, and everything on. The, the, electro, the electrical uh, wiring in this place is not the best, but I did not hear a single 60 cycle hum at all. And I, I like it, I like it. So there's a small price to pay you know, on, on the tone being uh, just a little bit too uh, chimey. But again, like I said again, you can always compensate it by boosting up the mids, boosting up the lows, cutting up the high frequencies. Nice. I kind of like these pickups. Um, Right hand wise, the bridge and everything, you know, easy. You know, you, like I say, you can you can assess your volume pad, uh, volume knob from here. Um, you can do muting if you want to, and it's not uncomfortable. Nice, cool. Right, guitar is a bit heavy though. I believe this is like what? This is like 3.85. Yeah, 3.85 kg. So it's a bit of a half to it. Not as heavy as a Gibson, of course, but for a tally. Yeah, and from my experience, I know that heavy guitars they do have that tone, and this guitar do have it. It has that this you know this nice tally tone. Now, as far as the saddle is concerned, it's easy. There's no protruding parts if you're gonna do muting or anything like that. It's it's, it's really comfortable, and this being a Nashville tally, you can gonna get like a strat like tones from position two and four, so it's really versatile in the studio as well as on stage. Um. Let me know what you think about this guitar and leave your comments in the comment section down below. Um, I want to hear from you. Interesting. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to this channel. Press that bell for notification of future videos to follow and be part of Patreon to support this channel. I would appreciate it. I thank all my patrons for the wonderful support. Thank you so much, guys. In the meantime, y'all take care now. Bye.